Session 81, Bucket List. Since Frank retired from his job, he has been looking for something to occupy his time. He had been out of work for a while when decided to write himself a bucket list of things he simply didn't have the time to do when he was working. However, completing the list has been a bit more difficult than he imagined. Frank was always interested in learning how to play the fruit. He tried once when he was younger, but after his children complained incessantly about the awful noise coming from the study room, he returned the flute to the friend he had borrowed it from. Now they were all grown up and married with children, there was no one to complain about the noise, or so he thought. After only ten minutes of practising, there was a knock on the front door. When he answered it, he was confronted by his neighbour, who threatened to call the police to deal with him should he continue to play that awful racket and wake up their baby. In protest, he sent the flute, by mail, to his youngest grandchild, who loved music, with a letter saying that she should practice every day. Next, he tried to write a book. He bought a book written by a retired gentleman like himself. The author had written a book about writing a book after successfully releasing some bestsellers at the age of 70. Frank bought himself a second-hand typewriter because he had no idea how to use a computer and had no wish to learn. However, when he tried to buy ink for the typewriter, he found that the typewriter was out of date and the particular ink cartridges for this model haven't been available for 20 years. This blew the wind out of his sails and so he decided to put the idea at the bottom of the list. And so it went on. He tried to drive from John O'Groats to Land's End, but ended up in Lincoln by mistake. He wanted to swim with dolphins, but the only way he could book it was to pay by card on the internet. And his Luddite nature, mixed with his pride, brought an end to that particular process. He resigned from the idea of singing in public after a karaoke night turned into a bar room brawl after a particularly large man was booed off stage. His wish to climb Snowden was stifled by him suffering from vertigo and the canal boat ride ended with several people in hospital. He also tried to build a garden shed by hand and that ended with him in hospital. Frank was obviously having no luck completing his bucket list but despite his failings, he was in high spirits. He evaluated what will be gained by attempting to complete his list and possibly risk upsetting others and potentially putting himself and others in danger. He was too old to be getting lost in the middle of nowhere or arguing with neighbours. One day, whilst returning some books to the library, he was walking past a park where children were laughing and playing. He stopped for a second to enjoy the energy of their youth, a couple of children were happily kicking a ball to each other when one of them missed. The ball bounced up the path and passed Frank, who followed the ball's journey into the road. Before he had time to stop it, one of the children ran past him and into the middle of the road, unaware of the traffic. With lightning speed, Frank made a move for the child and snatched him up, darting back into the pavement as the car narrowly missed him. The child, panicked by the experience, burst into tears when his mother ran up, screaming at him for his stupidity. She soon calmed down and thanked Frank for saving her son from a potential accident. She invited him to join them to share their picnic, which Frank happily accepted. Such an adventure was not on his bucket list, but the happiness of having helped save a child's life had it given him more pleasure than anything he had written on his list.